Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just destroyed the big giant Robo Scorpion, and now we're gonna loot him. Holy shit, he has a lot of stuff. Scrap metal sensor modules. We can use some of those. Uh, Valiance Radi Accentuator. We could probably do to have a few more of those. Ain't gonna carry. That's a bit too much. Yeah. Other than that, we are over encumbered. And uh, I believe, yeah, we're already using buff out, so there's no way we can uh, deal with that weight. Oopsie doodle. Huh. Let's see if we can get some. Maybe get some weight off of us by using. I don't know. Maybe some armor to repair each other or weapons. That'll work too. Let's do that. Do the layer. Pair that all up. And... Yeah, there's really nothing else I can repair up, is there? Fag! I'll have to drop something, maybe. Or... Could use some food. That would help. That would actually help quite a bit. Uh, where's my stats at? Food and water are not that bad. Uh, sleep, however... That needs a little help. What do I use for sleep? <laughs> Usually don't deal with sleep too often. Hmm. Nuka Cola. There's that. I mean, I don't really want to. <sighs> I hate that. I hate when I'm stuck trying to decide what to use. Uh, scrap it. We'll just drink some Sunset Sarsaparillas. That'll work. Now I have to get out of here, because we are carrying too much shit. Way too fucking much. How do we get out? Uh, there. That's where it is. Alright, let's put this away. It's too large and all over our screen for me to keep it there. I just realized there was lockers here. Well, fuck me, apparently. Uh, advanced radiation suit? That would be good to have in that fight. Oh, that one's empty. Alright. Now let's get out real quick. Whoo, boy. That fight was something else. <laughs> now, uh, before we go to talk to, uh, d d d Dr. Mobius, we're gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna have to go through a few things. For instance, uh, he is an old man. He is an old man who's been on his own for a while. And he's going to ramble on a lot, just so you know. But he kind of gives a cinching to the loose ends of the story that have been floating around. Well, that was weird. But, uh, yeah, just so you know, we're going to be talking to him a lot when we get to him. All right, let's uh, Might I be of service? sell off some of our stuff after we get things repaired. Yep. And... Let's get that repaired up, too. Yeah, there we go. And we'll sell. Uh, buy some things. Yes. Alrighty. Well, they have quite a bit of stuff now. I don't remember selling them all those revolvers. Hmm. Anyway. Let's bring it down a bit. Planning on selling it to him. Uh, the energy cells. We have way too many of those. Uh, I guess we should keep like a couple of these, but not too many. Because there's still really no point in carrying the weapon after we're done with here. Uh, that is a lot of caps. I might as well just keep that until I get to the Mojave. Good lord. Alright. And microfusion cells, uh, a couple missiles. Hmm. Yeah, the power fist for sure. Keep the pre-war money until we're out. That's for sure. Uh, pulse grenades really don't need those, not particularly. And I'll well, drop a few stealth boys. Well, maybe more than that. One. 
Okay. And... Hmm. We might keep that until we get to the Mojave 2. Uh, yeah. I think that's about all I really wanted to drop off. And I'm sure I will remember there was something more by the end of this, but fuck it, why not? We're done. We're done. Now we're just gonna drop things off in the safe. Uh, yeah. Drop that in there. Uh, yeah. That should be it for that. Drop all the, uh, stuff we picked up, all the scrap metal and whatnot. Oh, and the finest clipboard. Yeah, drop that. Uh, there is. Drop those. Wonder glue, wrenches, and I have plenty of duct tape, actually. I could probably make more, uh, weapon kits if I really wanted to. I don't, though. Right now. Uh, yeah. That's all good. That's all good. And I think... Yeah. I think we're all good. Yeah. We're pretty good. Uh, we could probably do with less stuff on us, but other than that, yeah, we're pretty much good. And we will, uh, explore the rest of the mountain after we're done talking to Mobius. Uh, we should really get to that. So, what the? What's this? Oh, that's the North Tunnel. I was like, is that a secret entrance that I didn't know about? No, it's not. I'm just stupid. Alrighty. I'm gonna drink my energy drink real quick. There we go. Nice. And nothing else around me. There we go. We'll check those out after we're done here. Believe me, I'm not gonna leave those sitting there. Oh! I love it when, uh, they're trying to reset all the things and they end up flopping around all over the place. It always makes it not spooky at all. No, never. And yes, I did loot... <laughs> I did loot the rest of the compound. Uh, as you'll see, all the horse fields are down. But uh, those lockers, I didn't even realize were there. So that was genuinely me blanking on that. Alrighty. Now, I think it would be to my best interest to maybe pop a... Stats do I have for effects? Still have buff out on. Smart lights, I still have that. So, it might be in my best interest to pop maybe a party time attack? Maybe? I think that'd be good. And... Uh, is there anything else? Hmm. Nothing that I can really think of will bring my stuff up any higher. At least things that I uh, need for this particular discussion. So yeah, I think we're good. Now, Mobius, where are you, you old bastard? Where you at? There you are. Alrighty. He has plenty of ammunition over here. Mad. Preposterous! Not an angry bone in my body! Have them all removed! Okay! Huh? Yo! Hello there! Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Uh, you huh? seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain? Perhaps? It's yes. just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. Thank you. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Uh... <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Is that better? <laughs> Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. Hmm. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> the flying tortoises oh, were the worst. Why, would you care for a mentat? Uh, sure. 
thank you. <laughs> I don't know, I'm tripping pretty hard right now. <laughs> uh, thanks, I'll save it for later. Mm, I love Mentats, delicious and smarty. That they are. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my biogel. I forget Alrighty. them all not long after, though, oh, yeah. especially with the data constipating my memory core. Yeah. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Yeah. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations, although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. Well, that's usually how it goes. Uh, you're not exactly what I was expecting. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Yeah. Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After oh. all, it oh. might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Well, I wouldn't necessarily be better. I mean, this is pretty good right now. Anyway, I need my brain back. Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it uh, even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent, has all manner of opinions. Yeah, that's a problem. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. <sighs> Would we really... Would my brain really want to go back with me after all we've been through? Probably not. Let's be honest here. I was curious about some things. Oh, curiosity. I experienced that less now that I know everything. Oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm hmm. Bit of both, maybe. I, can, I can't fix your monitor, but if you get... If you're getting ghost reception, I can fix that. The ghosts aren't real? No. That changes everything. Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. Impossibilities. Please be my guest. Uh, the receptor is there. And the side-switching wobbly bob, uh, just turn that. Good. Good. Better. Oh. Go. Oh, yes! That feels wonderful! This is even better than my afternoon Mentats break! Alrighty. You don't seem aggressive. Why broadcast threats to the think tank? Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am. Then, whew, watch out! Uh. So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. <laughs> As for the psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, Served its purpose. Excuse me, I just burnt. <laughs> I burned the nose. I was still curious about some things. I find things curious as well. Go on. Like, for instance, why you need to be aggressive to the think tank. Uh, can you tell me about your Robo-Scorpions first? Well, yes. every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert, <laughs> like poisonous frosting. I think you mean desert. How scary, I thought. But they had survived when nothing else had. Perfect yeah, candidates for improvement tough. as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts, and acted as walking eyes, and data-drained computers, and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then Alrighty. I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Or was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. Mustard custard sounds... disgusting. To be perfectly honest. 
Wait, sounds like you built the RoboScorpions issued threats to keep the think tank occupied. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Is some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? Conscious. You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the reasons better than I do. Reasons. Everything you've told me doesn't add up. Your plan, even your name, Mobius. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overrode the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I would say so. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. Wait, recursion loop? You program their names as part of a part of a recursion loop. What to trap their processes? Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But okay. yes, I did. Uh, it takes some liberties with their programming. It's all right. They don't remember. Of course not. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... Yeah, we already went through that. Anyway, recursion loop is designed to prevent the flow of information, so... The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have Plan 9s in place, but I uh, may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. They're probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here, or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several Plan 9s in case the 7s fail. Uh... That reference went over my head. I don't even remember that. Weird. Anyway, I, I, I usually don't play with Wild Wasteland intact, which is why some of these references I don't get. Uh, Klein, Mobius. Zero is a circle. Eight's an infinity. Get it. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Oroboros, Klein, mm -hmm. they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world. Sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. Got a point. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. That's kind of an asshole thing to do to your friends. <laughs> well, it's not exactly wrong, but minor detail, but a snake devouring its own tail is Ouroboros, not Ouroboros. Really? It is so unlike me to make an error in anything I do. Hmm. If you lobotomize a think tank, why terrorize them? Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. 
Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up, then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. But there must have been other signs of a larger world. There were other visitors. I mean, there was like... The Courier, there was Elijah, there was Christine. Why am I different? There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions. But you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. The bullet that went into my brain. Doc Mitchell tried to patch me up, but... Yes, very good. I should have Mentats ingest you instead of the other way around. Ew. Mm, Mentats? Ew. In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal. And yours was a light case of bullet headitis. But it was enough for the auto dock in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem. And the brain extraction technology for once worked. That Alrighty. gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain oh. that procedural data, they oh. can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. Oh, and shit. once they're off the reservation... Chaos ensues. So if I don't get my brain back in my head, I can't leave ever? Is that what you're telling me? Oh no. I doubt your brain would be so unreasonable. It already knows the trick of it, you see. Doesn't need to be in a host body at all. Okay. If you become friends or exist in an uneasy truce with weapons aimed at each other, it would unlock the fence for you. Fair well, enough. once the think tank was dealt with, of course, your brain is a responsible sort. Doesn't want mad scientists running around everywhere. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Wait a minute. Klein said they had the idea to get the three technologies after your broadcast. Coincidence? I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth. Okay. My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, pardon my language, all pardon. those technologies are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. Oh. Okay, there's apparently a siren going on behind me. Someone fucked up. Or someone's on fire, either or. Uh... Was there any other data transmitted in your threat bo uh, threat broadcast? Yep, that's a cop. Someone screwed up. <laughs> anyway. Was there any other data transmitted in your threat broadcast? Yes. My overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse, and repeat program. Oh, and the... Get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. But I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. 
Only so much science can do when you started talking to them. Fair enough. You're really quite difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, yeah. well, ah, rather intriguing, if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. Thank you. Thank you very much. But the Think Tank downloaded the schematics, not the items. They can rebuild them. Oh, that means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Uh. Oh, well, at least I tried. Tried? Doesn't seem like you really tried. What's the purpose of them? The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency thought patterns. Okay. The sneaky suit? Why, it houses a cardiac regulator. Uh huh. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. Ah. Uh. In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. That was a I reference think to the there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. They had murderous. them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. And it won't stop the think tank either. They only murdered one person. And that was the Wicked Witch of the West, I'm pretty sure. person they murdered out of the whole fucking movie. What are you talking about? Oh, time for me to go, I guess. Goodbye. Indeed. The, uh, goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Can do. Alrighty, I'm gonna stop here for this episode, because this episode ran on for far too long. I told you it was gonna ramble on. But, uh, like I said, it cinched a lot of key points in the story. I keep burping. Goddamn rockstar. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.